Hello, YouTubers. It's your boy, King Cove. We are back at it with another video. And I broke my goddamn phone. I didn't want to break it. I did not want to break my phone. I hate breaking my phone. I want to need at least 200 some odd dollars to replace it. I hate this. I fucking hate this. It happened last night, which I was having a great night last night, you know, hanging out at the bar, doing my thing. And then when I got a ride back to my place, I couldn't find my card. And I wasn't trying to freak out the cab driver. I really wasn't. So if anyone or anything happened, I apologize firsthand. I don't know, YouTube, like, I don't know what to do. I, I'm so disappointed in myself, you know? Like, I wasn't trying to freak anyone out. And the, the cab driver I had this last night was super awesome. It, it doesn't matter what, what company I went through to get a ride back from the bar. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to do cooking videos to talk to anyone or anything until I get my phone back. I mean, I, I, now I can't even do cameos now because my phone's broke. It, it's so frustrating, dude. I hate when I break my phone. I fucking absolutely hate it. All I can say is I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to do cameo shout outs until I get my phone replaced. And honestly, it's so goddamn frustrating. It really is. And I just want to say to everyone, thank you for your support.
No, I might be able to replace it. Because I think I had... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to need at least $200 to make another purchase for this. So fucking irritating. I did get a warranty on my phone because I know how I am with my cell phones. And lo and behold, it's not giving me the option to reorder it. Or be like, your phone's backed up by a warranty. That That's typical. That's fucking typical. No, everything was going fine, just fine last night. I went to the bar, ran to one of my YouTube fans. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? And then something triggered me, and I lost my temper, and I threw my phone on the floor and broke it. Like, I wasn't trying to scare the cab driver last night. That's the last thing I'd want to do. The cab driver I had is, very, is, a, is a very nice... The, the cab driver I had last night is a good person. And I couldn't find my fucking card. So someone else ended up paying for the cab ride. And I appreciate that. But... I'll see what I can do about getting a new phone, but until then, I'm pretty much fucked, so it is what it is. And, you know, I get it to a point, YouTube, like, your patience can only go so far. And I'll be the first to admit I have a nasty temper, and it's been a struggle to control it for years. I don't like losing my goddamn temper. I, I fucking hate it, to be honest. I do. And there's not a damn thing I can do about it except, well, learn from my mistakes. And honestly, I feel like an absolute ass.
the main reason why I have a cell phone is so I can stay connected to my YouTube fans and to my uh, family. Which to me, my YouTube fans and my family and friends are more important to me than any amount of cell phone. And like, you know what? I'm at the point where I'm just done breaking my cell phones. Because it, it gets old, dude. You, you gotta order a new one and then wait for it to come in. You know? Got a little bit of orange juice and vodka going here. Some screwdriver action. Trying to hair the dog. No, last night was a good night. And just fucking. I don't know, YouTube. I really don't. So to the cab driver from last night, I apologize. I wasn't trying to scare you. And to my YouTube fans, I'm sorry you, you have to witness this. So I'm going to hold on to this cell phone, I guess, until I get a new one. So can I have my SIM card? So my SIM card is still in here. I don't want to get rid of that. It just means I'm not going to be able to do cooking videos until I get my phone fixed or replaced. And fixing it at this point is useless I'll be the first to admit I got a nasty temper and I hate it I you know what I'm saying like I don't mean to get so angry all the time but like shit just pisses me off you know how you know how it goes when things are out of your control and, you, and, and it, it's just shoved in your fucking face, and you can't do a fucking thing about it. You know what I'm saying? When life, when life craps on you, and it's out of your control, it, it, it's so fucking irritating, dude. And oh yes, I did shave, by the way. Look at that, looking. Looking like a handsome devil. Yeah. So if you don't get a hold of me in my cell phone, that's that's the reason why, YouTube. If my cell phone broke, I lost my fucking temper. And I immediately regretted it as soon as I did it. And like now I feel bad because if I want a new cell phone, I'm going to have to finish my new album and try to get it out before Halloween so that way I can, you know what I'm saying? And like my songs are getting better, but that's beside the point. So if I get cameo requests, I'm not going to be able to fulfill them until I get my cell phone fixed. And, you know what I'm saying? I will send you a free cameo shout-out. 
if I can't get myself on this in time kind of thing, you know? Because I want to say this. I appreciate everyone who is paid for a cameo shout-out. That's been a very successful endeavor for my autistic ass. You know, like, all I gotta say is, I'm sorry. And breaking my cell phone doesn't, like, make the situation better. I've learned this the hard way so many times. The feeling of, okay, I lost my temper, and I took it out on my cell phone. Well, that's just great, because now I can't do what I need to do on YouTube, because all it does is hurt me in the end, and that doesn't solve a damn thing. No, it's the truth. I went to the bar last night, and right as I was about to leave, I ran into one of my fans, which is always a good feeling, you know. People coming up to me and be like, are you King Cobra JFS? And I go, yes, I am. And they go, can I get a photo with you? Yes, you can. I'm always here for my fans. Through thick and thin. Through thick and thin, YouTube. 